All right, guys, so we're going to be doing the Windows Privilege Escalation. I've already started my machine. We are looking at task three. Um, just going over, skimming over the intros real quick. It just goes over how you have Windows users, your standard users, your administrators, and then you have your system, which are higher privileges. And then the um, administrators, uh, local services, and network services privileges. So... Um, next, it goes into let's see your harvesting passwords and unusual spots. All right, and then different ways on how you can enumerate for passwords and try to find them. All right, let's do this. Let me go ahead and pull up my Kelly box. Here it is. I'm just gonna close this out. Close this out and close this out. All right, so. Um, <laughs> Got two connections right now. Let me just go ahead and minimize this one a little bit. There we go. Actually, I'll just uh, put that away. All right, so here we go. Let me go ahead and connect to this computer. Um, let me see what credentials are we using. Okay, that's the credentials we're using. All right. And the way of connecting to this, if you try to SSH, it will not work for you. There's a different way you have to connect to this, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Um, we're going to be using RDP. All right. Give me one sec. Let me pull it up. All right. So first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to install the um, free REP program. All right. I will put these commands in the comment section. I can't put in the description because YouTube blocks forward slashes, so I'll have to put it in the comment section. All right. You're going to pretty much type in apt install free RDP uh, shadow. Okay, if that doesn't work for you, you can try the sudo apt install free RDP and then this specific command if that doesn't work, right? So if you get any errors like I did right here, then you would just run um, apt install and then like that. If you're still getting errors, uh, then you should just be able to run it with the sudo, which is the last line here. This is the one I'd like you to actually try first before you try the other ones because the other ones might not work and this the last one will definitely work so try this one i'm gonna put it in the comment section and then if that doesn't work i'll put the other ones as well just so you have a backup just in case okay so we'll put that down there all right and then so once you have that installed how do i use free rdp it's very easy let me show you so let me go ahead and move this aside go free I need to be pseudo free. All right, give me one sec. I got to pull this up. I was using the wrong command. Okay, so it's going to be x free. I'm just going to auto populate this here. I'll put this in the comment section so you know what to do. So we have the user, them unpriv right here. So let's say x free rdp f and then the username so user right there then the p and then the password there and then the v and the uh, ip address so this ip address changed because i did this yesterday 2.15 okay and the rest of this still should be good so let me copy this i'll put this in the comment section below that way uh, you can just paste this in if you're having troubles Okay, let's run it. All right. And then it's going to ask, do you trust the above certificate? Uh, you're going to click yes. And then from there, it should start an RDP session with the Windows computer. So I'm now logging into that Windows computer now. So we'll give this a sec. All right, cool. So we are in. Um, let's go ahead and see what our first task is. So 
And I'm just looking at my write up here. So first task is for you, you to find a password for Julia Jones in the PowerShell history. Okay. So let's do that now. Now, when you run this command, you have to run it from the command prompt. If you run this from PowerShell, it will not work. They mentioned that in the notes. Uh, so let's just give this a second. Ugh. Just, it just disconnected on me. Let me try this again. Um, all right, good. Let's try this again. It looks like I'm getting an error. Let me troubleshoot this real quick. All right, guys, I had to run it again. I don't know what happened the first time. Uh, maybe the VM crashed or something. Something was wrong, but uh, here it is. So let's continue on. Just give this a second because it looks like it's still loading up and it's only got like 2,408 MB of memory. So not too much. All right. I'm seeing a few startup scripts run. Let's see. Let's click over here. Heck yeah, we're in CMD. All right, brought my CMD up. And we're just going to input the command that they provide in the notes section. I'm going to provide it in the description, or actually in the comment section. I keep saying description, but it's going to be in the comment section. I'm just going to copy it. Okay, um, let me bring on my try hack me real quick. So the command we're copying is going to be uh, this one right here. You have to do it from the command prompt. So just copy that. And then just paste it here. I'm disconnected again. What's going on? Make sure time to out readers. Oh. Huh. All right, so it happened again. I lost connection there. Uh, let's hope it does not happen again. So I'm just gonna pull the command real quick. We're gonna go through this really quick. I'm not even explain things really well. So I'm push. I'm putting the command here, and then it says Julia Jones gives you the password. There, you're gonna go ahead and take that password and put it in here. All right, web server is running on remote host. Find any interesting password and the web configurations. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and run that next command. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my notes right here. Um, all right, so next command. Copy. Yep. All right, I'm going to run this command next. Uh, this one's going to show me the passwords and the web config or anything of use in there uh, from the IIS, I believe. Um, here we can see we have uh, password, where is it? Oh, there it is. Password right here. All right, so you're going to go ahead and plug that in over here. There's password saved on Windows credentials. Use the CMD key run as. Okay, so we have some saved credentials. We're going to run uh, run as to then run those credentials. And all we need to do is very easy. You're just going to take these input um, to see their credentials, right? So we're enumerating. Um, no, that's not it. Just not one sec. Delete this. And put that. Click enter. We can see that Mike has some credentials that are stored. We're going to run those. Hopefully those are uh, some type of admin credentials. We're going to input the command. Now put all these commands in the comment section below so you can see them. Go ahead and copy this, paste it over here. Uh, I paste it twice. Just delete that. And paste it again. All right, there we go. Press enter here. Um, that actually opened up the shell here. So you could have done it with the command prompt. Likewise, you could also have done it by just typing run. Or actually, you can just have done, just put it in here, I believe, and it would have done the same thing. So yeah, there we go. And then you say, who am I? Or who am I? 
Yep, there we go. So that's a that's another account. Right. Because our initial prompt didn't have that, did it? No. Okay. Um all right. So let's see what we got next. So next we're gonna use that account to then see the flag that we need. So let me go back over here. We're in the Windows System 32. So if you guys didn't know, I was actually a system administrator as well and um, network administrator. So this is my playing field. You know, Windows is my playing field. So please watch the rest of these videos, like and subscribe. Let's get through this together, guys. Let's get our OSCP together. Let's do this. All right. So next I'm going to do CD. Um, let's see. Where are we going here? We are going to the users. Mike. Desktop. All right, so if I put this in, it should take me to the directory I need. We're going to then type. This is an LS, guys. You have to, your Windows now, you're going to have to type DIR to list those directories. We can see flag right there. We are going to do the equivalent of catting that. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to type, um, type, <laughs> type, type. All right, flag dot txt. Boom. There you guys go. So, wow. Um, there we go. Next, we are going to run that next command they gave us so we can see uh, the putty sessions. Proxy, um, proxy, what is that? The proxy credentials, okay. Just enter that. This might be taking a while. Let me, let me try it with this one. Okay, easy. Let's just open up another CMD. This will open up as the default. Here we go. Because, well, you remember we changed our privileges there. We were able to go into a different account. So now we're opening up with the default account with whoever we're signed in as. And you can see that we are checking registry keys for the PuTTY software there. And the registry keys hold these values um, to include the proxy pass, which you're going to need for that next flag. All right, so there it is. All right, and then we'll be doing the next video together. That'll be abusing dangerous privileges. All right, Danny out.